This is Darren Rock, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to start up a Nitro RC car. The tools you need to start up a Nitro RC car is a fully charged glow igniter. So for this instant I'm using an igniter that connects to a heavy duty, ba heavy duty battery. Um, when you start the car you either use a pull start, that pull, pull it, a rotor starts, or a starter box. So that's the starter box. I'm not using the starter box because in this case, my starter box is actually out of battery. As you see, if I turn it on, I press down, it just doesn't start it because it's out of battery. The first thing you're going to want to do when starting a nitro RC car is prime the engine. So to prime the engine, you can either have an engine primer, which is like sometimes here or sometimes on the pipe. You just squeeze it, but I don't have it, so. If you don't have it, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to block the exhaust over there. Let me focus on it. You're going to want to block the exhaust and turn over your engine. So let me go ahead and do that. So let me get the camera out. So I'm using a dual starter to turn it over. So now you're going to want to block the exhaust and turn it over and see that there are no air bubbles in the fuel line and that it is reaching the carburetor yeah there's some air bubbles but now they're gone so now that you have done that you're going to want to just turn it over just to mix it so let me do that so now it's all mixed so now there's fuel in the engine and it's all mixed in there so now you're going to want to get to the point where you want to start. So, what are you going to want to do? You're going to want to now turn your transmitter on. So, I'm using a, the normal TF40 2.4 GHz transmitter. Turn the transmitter on first. Make sure you turn the transmitter on first before your receiver. Now there, my receiver's on. So now, you don't want to go start the car. To get your igniter, make sure it's fully charged. There's my clips are in. So over there, and plug it into your car. So now that it's plugged in, I like to wait like five seconds just so it can hear. So one, two, three, four, five, and just turn the engine over. Now take your igniter out after about 5 seconds. So now you can see the engine. So that was how to start up a Nitro RC car. As you can see, when I stopped the engine, I did I put my finger over the exhaust which blocks the, it, I think it blocks the air from it, but there are a few ways of blocking it to turn it off and I'll cover that in another video. So this was Darren Rock, thank you for watching and goodbye.